All right then, gang. So now you know how to create cloud functions. Let's just turn up the heat a little bit and create a notification system for our application. So our notifications are going to go over here inside the dashboard and we're going to get real time notifications every time a user creates a new project or every time a new user signs up. Right. So the triggers are going to be a new document being added to our projects collection or a new user signing up using the authentication service. So we'll come to triggers in the next video. For now, what we'll do is just start to create this component that sits over here. So let's go to our dashboard folder right there and open up the notifications.js file. So at the minute, a very simple component, which is a function. So all we want to do is beef out this a little bit. So let's get rid of the current template and we'll do a div instead to surround this section with a class of section. And inside that div, I'm going to do another div with a class of card. This is a materialized CSS class. We've seen this in previous tutorials, just puts the content within a card. I'm also going to apply a class of Z hyphen depth hyphen zero to take away the box shadow. So it's flat on the screen. OK, so inside that now I want another div for the card content. So we'll say div dot card hyphen content and do that. And now we need a span tag for the card title. So we'll do a class of card title. These are all materialized CSS classes just to style them. Now, the title of the card is going to be notifications like so. And then underneath the title, we'll do a UL. And inside this UL, this is where we're going to display our notifications. So an LI and in here, we'll just say notification like so. And we'll give the UL a class name equal to notifications as well, just in case we want to style them later on. So let's just copy this and paste it down here a few times and we'll save that. So now this component, this should already be nested inside the dashboard right here. So all we're really doing at the minute is updating the template. We're not using any kind of dynamic data or anything like that just yet. But what we will do is we'll pass in the props so that if we come later on to pass down some data from the dashboard into the notifications, we can receive those props right here, much like we did with the project list component where we passed the project as a prop. OK, so let's save that and let's save this and let's view it in a browser. OK, so that's all right. So every notification that we get is going to output a new notification right here. So ultimately, what we want to do is create a cloud function that's going to react to someone signing up or someone creating a project. And when that happens, it's going to send some data to our application, which we can then output inside this component right here. So in order to do that, we need to look at these different cloud function triggers when a user signs up or when a user adds a new project. And we'll do that in the next video.